entendo. Ok. Sin army jets, sin army jets or air forces taken up to flight as commanded by the governor of this Muslim state or Awuza state in Nigeria with the order to kill once and for all all Muslims or all terrorists who keep causing chaos, vandalism and mass losses of lives in that state. And since viewing the state from space shall help to see clearly where these terrorists and are hiding in camps and how they operate by killing the masses in this state, the governor shall order the Air Force soldiers of his state to stay in air, hovering from one, one end of the state to another for good three days, making sure these evil terrorists are gone down from space without any pity or remorse, so that order is restored, peace is sustained, and human lives are preserved for children to continue their education with full force and in a free environment. And many other governors shall congratulate him for his noble act and copy his exact example in their own various states. As violence and terrorism must suffer extinction from Nigeria for human lives to be preserved. And after the world must have seen this happen, a very radical protest shall take place in UK by the masses against the too many free rights given to Muslims to do injustice and commit crimes of all sorts without regret, since they know they shall be freed at the end of the day. Hence, the authorities in UK shall have no choice but to come to terms and respond immediately to the cry of the people and demote all government leaders in UK who have, in one way or the other, supported these Muslims to try to in, into trying to terrorize and rise above the rights and lives of their fellow human beings. UK in the future shall be so hot for Muslims to live in for a while, since everyone who stands against their past evil practices shall aim at making life a living hell for them, like they were outcasts born to suffer forever. And so it shall come to pass that 2024 shall be a year when Muslims who think they are terrorists all over the world shall adjust and go under their shell like a snail does, so as not to be noticed by the masses who stand, who shall see their existence without with utmost disgust and terrible discomfort amidst the human race. Okay, the next prophecy. Huh? 